Hey YouTubers, it's Fix It With Biscuit here, and what we got here is a treadmill motor, and I want to show you how easy it is to wire it up with one of these controllers. I don't remember what everybody's using the name for um, this controller is, but um, I know it's the easiest one to wire. They call it the... Uh, four wire system but there's another name that people use for it on the internet and stuff like that but what I want to show you is how easy it is to wire this thing up I mean it's just super simple um, you're gonna need a potentiometer um, this is a 5k linear potentiometer um, and you're gonna need the power cord and stuff and when you take a treadmill apart don't cut the wires um, for the power cord you can use it uh, there's no point in doing that um, it's plug and play so on here you got this is your <clears throat> excuse me it says white <clears throat> and blue it says AC1 AC2 so your um, blue you're actually gonna plug your black in and what I have is I put a on and off switch here so I can kill the power real quick we're not using the blue wires the blue wires are on the motor they're the um, overheat sensors and we're just gonna bypass that all together and then you just plug white into white <clears throat> you leave your green just let your green go you can hook it to the uh, body uh, to ground it out um, but you don't need to and then your next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna need like I said that potentiometer and the way to figure out which way to wire this is is if you hold whoops sorry there if you hold the potentiometer to where let me get the other one real quick guys to where all the prongs face this way so you got your black and white wires over here if you turn it to where the prongs are facing the opposite way it basically wires that exact right there wire for wire um, and I got one here and these were the wires that were already plugged into this board and you just plug your black in your whites in the center and your red is on the end and then the last thing we have to plug in is our motor which we have here's the two prongs for the motor it says red and black pretty simple you got your motor controllers you got your um, red and black you plug them in and then we set it down here and I'll show you how well this works um, and uh, instead of using all kinds of other wiring and stuff like that you see here you just flip your switch your lights come on on the board and then you get your potentiometer and it's gonna have a soft start so when you turn it up a little bit it's gonna take a second to start but it will don't crank it all the way you see uh, it started there easy and then you can just run it to the board if you wanted to this one gives you a really good variance of speed. I mean, we're we're cooking right along here. So you can see that the whole thing's moving and I think we're about half throttle. take a little bit to slow down because of that big counterweight but uh, that's how simple it is to wire a treadmill motor and a controller you want this type of controller um, these are the only ones I've been finding really in all the treadmills that I've been tearing apart people say that they're the older style or something like that I don't know I haven't come across the other ones yet but um, I just wanted to share this little video here to show you guys how quick and easy it is 
And so thanks for watching and stay tuned.